and man grab a corner. Could you take a corner? Before I do the trick for magicians, this can be anything. It's nothing to do with the trick. My usual thing like last night is a white dinner napkin. Because it's always a white dinner napkin. If not, I'll grab this. If I see a hat, I like hats. But you need something to put the coins on. You do not palm a shell, there isn't anything else. I get a hundred emails a week, this is it. All right, keep hold here, keep hold here. You're gonna see something you'll never forget. Are you ready? I'm ready. Watch, I'm gonna reach underneath, take one of the coins, I'm gonna give a little pull. It's gonna go just like it goes through the silk. You forgot to applaud. <laughs> oh, you're holding something, otherwise you can go Take a coin. Some people often say to me, Mark, will you do that again? Do it again. It's funny you would ask that. But thanks anyway. Now some people think I sneak something underneath. Sir, can you look underneath for me? Don't lie for me. Nothing under there, right? Nothing. Swear? Swear. I promise there's nothing. I'm going to reach underneath. I'm going to take just one coin, give a little pull. It looks like magic, doesn't it? You forgot to applaud me. Oh, you see that guy there? Do you think I could teach him to be a magician? What do you think? Sure. I know it's a bit ugly, but you could probably do tricks, right? Are you right or left-handed, sir? Right. Right, same as me. What's the chances? Oh, about 50%. Right-handed. Right-handed, So I show the two coins, and I set, every time I go here, I'm setting the trick. Right. I say, right-handed. What I need you to do, sir, is can you go like that? Now, on the DVD, I talk about that for nearly 10 minutes. They have to be doing that. Yeah, Loads of laymen, I don't know why, do that. Even when you've said, can you do that, they go, yeah. And I go like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly. And when they do, I get a joke and I make him look a bit, but a lot do that. I've even had them do that. <laughs> but you want them, hey, everyone I do tricks for is drunk, right? So in a second, I'm going to ask you to reach underneath. Do you like heads or tails, Mike? Heads. Heads. Leave the heads for him, he's going to examine that coin. The tails is going to be for you. I'm going to ask you to, just like that, reach underneath with your finger and thumb and take the coin through the silk. Do you think you can do that? I think so. But I don't need you to pull. You're not fully qualified yet, sir. <laughs> reach underneath. Now, the reason I say that, I want to just make sure he's got the right coin. Okay. I, I don't want him pulling on the head coin. Okay. All right, so I'll stop him for a second. Can you uh, keep a little tension on there and a little tension on there? Perfect. Not too tight, sir. It's just perfect. When you're ready, and only when you're ready, sir, you are going to become a fully qualified magician. Wow. Think you're ready now? Uh, maybe. When you pull down, <laughs> it's going to go right through the silk. You're going to pull the coin right through the silk yourself. You ready? should see laymen when they do this. Ready? Yeah. When, oh, a when a layman does that... <laughs> <laughs> now, he really does get to examine. He really examines. He gets his dinner napkin back, <laughs> and I'm ready to go again. So let me walk you through. First of all, watch, this is really clever. 